In this flash in ActionScript 3 lesson, I'll demonstrate how you can allow your users to full screen any websites or applications you want. I made it to where it uh, retains the stage elements, all your buttons, your background, uh, any images, text, and everything in, on the stage. Uh, the size will be retained when they hit full screen. That way it won't distort any of your stage elements when they do full screen. And uh, I also made it to where the full screen toggles. The same button will toggle between full screen up and full screen uh, back down to normal. So uh, let's hit the toggle full screen button. Right now it's rendered in the browser here. And I just made a, a little dummy site. These buttons don't even work. And I put a little fake footer here and uh, so let's hit the toggle full screen button and you can see it full screens it and it has that press escape to exit full screen nifty message that runs across the screen for a second and then if you hit and you might not be able to see it in the video but if you hit the toggle full screen button again it goes back to normal or you can go to full screen and then hit escape like it tells you to there and it goes back to normal uh, but I just put the uh, I just made the button toggle full screen that way uh, they had a little more clear indication of how to get back to normal view because uh, some people don't realize that they can hit escape and go back to normal view so I made it toggle for you and uh, let's go ahead and close this out and look at the file here now the file on the main scene has uh, one keyframe and it has the full screen action script 3 code layer on top and that's right there and then it has the whole site movie clip underneath it and you'll see it's one movie clip that has everything in it and if you double click inside of that you'll have your toggle full screen button here which is on the top layer site logo which is on that layer page data is on that layer uh, footer and the fake buttons are on that layer and the backgrounds on that layer so everything's like kinda just structured out like a site would be in flash uh, but nothing's actually working um, except this toggle full screen button and all that's on this layer on the code on the actions panel if you press F9 to get your actions panel you'll see that there's one line in there it's an event listener for the full underscore BTN which is this button here and you can see down here in the, the properties inspector it says full underscore BTN and so there's an event listener and what the event listener is doing is telling on click on mouse click um, run execute the function called full screen up that's on the parent movie clip to this one the parent movie clip is scene one here and so it'll it instructs it when that's pressed by the user to to execute this code on the main scene and the code is uh, what it's doing is we're we creating a boolean variable uh, that just switches between between true and false when we need it to down here in the function and uh, these three lines here are the ones that will keep your stage elements for instance if you co if you comment out these three lines you'll see that your stage elements they also they distort when it full screens so I added these three lines to make it to where it retains the uh, all of your stage elements to where they won't distort and it'll still full screen um, so those are very important those three lines and uh, there's also the alignment is set in there and uh, then we have the function that runs when the button is pressed right here and there's one conditional inside that checks to see if the boolean value is full is uh, false or true and uh, if it's false it'll execute the code to full screen up and then if it's true which it sets it to true right here so if this happens then it sets it it switches it to false uh, which sorry it switches it to true and then this uh, switches it back to false that way it'll go back to this when it needs to but in the else statement of this conditional we're saying go back to normal so in this condition we go back we go to full screen and then in the else we go back to normal and so that's how it toggles in between full screen and normal and that's pretty much it for the code the code is really simple 
And one very important thing, and it, it won't work unless you go down here into your properties inspector and press on the publish settings, you, you press the settings buttons there and bring up the settings and then go to HTML tab and you'll see that you have some options here in template you have to press flash only allow full screen by default it'll say flash only switch that to say flash only allow full screen this is a very important step to making full screen uh, uh, capable inside of your applications okay so then you press OK and then when you publish out <coughs> you'll then have full screen capabilities using that little bit of code that I showed you and that you'll be able to see if you go and download this FLA file then you press full screen and voila then you toggle back and that's pretty much it let's see uh, and it's nice to use uh, a background if you can in CSS that way and then make the window transparent here in your publish settings as well you can go into your settings and under HTML window mode transparent and that's how you do that but that's pretty much it we'll see you next lesson